<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's our Monday. We were just even talking about like Monday motivation. <laughs> Dig deep. <laughs> it's been a week. Go team. <laughs> and Dora was like, Are you motivated? It's been a week. <laughs> it's been a weekend, y'all. <laughs> wow. And we're twinning. We are. We are twinning. I love it. I showed up to the house and I mean, we're. we're Oh, that was Annie. That's Annie. You okay? <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. But I showed up and we had the same shirt on. I was like, there must be something in the air. Hey, hey Mary. The... I love these though. These are so oh, much fun. Oh, Mary. Mary was with me when I was laughing so hard yesterday oh, and I geez. couldn't catch my breath. And she was like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's, it's just me, Annie. <laughs> you guys, there are sometimes, do you ever have that friend that just really, I mean, you get like the tickle box. And 100%. it doesn't stop, you know? Like you can't make it stop. It can't make, no. It's more like the church laugh. You know when you're not supposed to laugh? Worst. And I was like, I mean, it hurts. It's painful. And I'm just like this. Or I'm like, I think we did that in an event recently. We did. And I'm like, I was like, quit looking at me. Quit looking at me. My cheek. And I'm like, this is not the right time to laugh. And it was a very serious conversation. Dear <laughs> Speaking of, if you want to come laugh, we have two events this week if you're local. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that. I told, I told me, I said, we need to tell them about our event. And she said, do you think people really want to hang around this? <laughs> it's like, you guys, come see the action in <laughs> live. 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 Right. No, but we really do. We have two Tulsa events if it's you're in It's going to be so much fun. Yes. Yes, there's one we're doing like a single to wino. I thought that was so, so cute. cute. So cute on Wednesday. And the other one's Thursday. And it's a whole Mother's Day event. Yes. And it's going to be at Revitalized Spa. Yes. On Delaware, South Tulsa, mm -hmm. 12 to 2. Okay, so that's near, it's kind of like near Riverside. Yes. Right? Yep. So if, yes. So right by the highway. Okay. Close to Red Rock. Oh, neat. Yes. yes. Except for exactly on the side. Yeah. Perfect. They're going to do specials at their spa and then there's jewelry. I mean, they're going to do it with so the, the spa thing. So it's going to be like Botox and fun. Yes. And then uh, BHJ Designs is going to be there. Yep. All of our fun little gold jewelry that you guys see us wearing all the time. Yes. She's going to have all of our, her goodies. Who else is going to be there? Uh, there's the wine, Kelly. Oh, that's right. Kelly that's with Scott wine. and Cellar. Yes. And then there's also a brow bar, I think. Or brow. Oh, oh There's good. no brows or something. Oh, I need help with my brows right now. Well, I was going to go this weekend, <laughs> but now I guess I'll wait. <laughs> I guess I'll wait. I guess I'll wait. So that's Thursday, right? Thursday. Thursday, yes. May 6th. Um, Revitalized Spa, 12 to 2. And mm -hmm. we'll be there early and a little late. Yeah. So if you can't swing lunchtime, come say hi. It's so fun. And, so you guys, we just can't. Oh, and wine. Mm -hmm. I need some Botox. I know. Shannon giggled up. That's, I know. That's tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow, I think. <laughs> the Botox. <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> I thought she was talking about a dog. I, I'm sorry, I was not. I was, what you read? But we're giggling, and then you're talking about tomorrow. So I was great. Oh, that's years. right. So was, sorry. <laughs> we digress. No, but we did get new hats. We did. We got new hats, and we wanted to show these too. We have been wearing them as armbands. I wore the one um, at soccer yesterday. Yeah. The bright color. Well, and I love, I love them. I love this fabric because it's going to be perfect for it's. It's, I mean, for a headband, mm -hmm. but also in the summertime, it's just kind of like a... It's so cute. I know. It's it very Tay wore hers for soccer. Yeah, of course Hayden has the white one. Oh, he I wore love that it. to his workouts, which is so cute. It's white on white, says off the grid. We have sold out of the strong. I know a few of you... Kind of reminds me of like Baker Mayfield. Oh, I love it. I know. Can't be. Can't I know. Go so wrong cute. With mm -hmm. that reminder. So hats, we have these new things, and then we're releasing... We have pre-order of our tanks at our event. Mm-hmm. So Wednesday, uh, May 5th for Cinco de Wino, and then Thursday, May 6th at Revitalized Spa. Yes. So message us if you're in Tulsa and would like to come by. We'd love to see you. You know what I probably need to do is send this over to our girls off the grid. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, girls. Perfect. No, yeah, do that. Sorry, Jamie. Shannon, where do you live? Hi, Jamie. Oh, hi, Richie. Like our rental car. Oh, Mary. When I laughed on that rental car ride. Which one? <clears throat> when we, we were in St. Louis. Or we were in St. Louis. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Exit. Mr. Exit ended up downtown lost. What? It went over the river. We with thought Mary? The, with Mary. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> We've never laughed. I've never laughed so hard in my life for my kids. That Taylor's in the back seat. Reese's in the back seat. Yes. And they're going, are we going to be okay, mom? And I'm like, I don't know. No, and I was like, I mean, we on the highway. On the highway, my lights weren't working. Were oh, geez. We were going over the bridge. It was, what? you just had to be there. Oh my gosh. You had to sure. be there. Good morning, Peggy. So Hi, funny. Jennifer. Oh, Mary. Seriously, like you said at practice, you have to be with me to tell the story. I mean, 
Nothing worked. It was the it, car. The, yes, Wait, the windshield no, wiper. Oh this is the yes, one. The soccer is, trip. Yes. I mean, the one with the rinky dink yes. thing. But it was like like little we hamsters. Like, <laughs> yeah, going down the highway and I was shaking. I was like, oh my god, in the call. I know my mom starts calling while I'm trying to figure out where we're going, and Mary's holding it. She's like, your mom's calling, and I'm like, in the call. <laughs> I don't even know where to Oh my gosh. We were dying. Oh were my silly. god. That would have been I wish oh. it was a camera crew watching. Oh, that, that would have been was, a funny watch. It was amazing. Okay, so I need you to pull up that thing. I but am. Are you doing that? I'm gonna post these real quick while we're while we're waiting. Yes. Okay. Y'all we get so excited about our Monday motivation because number one, it makes us get on track. You know, I mean it makes yeah. us Well, I think kind of you kinda of have to decompress like from the weekend. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys had a busy weekend, but it was eventful on my end. Yes. That's or, what Mandy, or, Mandy, or, Mandy walked in. And or not like, eventful. Hey, I, was like, I don't, hey, I don't really know how to look at it. <laughs> was it a non event? It was you, a non event. You were not invited. I was not invited. So when you're not invited to the party, it's usually a good thing. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, you know what I mean? I think I just got totally. <laughs> My invite got lost in the mail. It got lost. <clears throat> Thankfully. Yeah, I guess so. It's a learning lesson, though, for our daughters. It is. If you're not invited to the party, it's okay. It is okay. It's usually, it's usually, <laughs> it's usually a good thing. Wow. You I know? know. Well, you gotta so. sometimes, I mean, out of, I don't know, how many, how many years? <laughs> Six, eight years and not invited to a party. <laughs> it's just like, okay, well, it's a new one. It's a That's new. God intervened. It is. It, he did. He intervened. It's a new. It's a new for me. Boom. Like it's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me, dog. <laughs> it, well, it was a no on the invite for sure for me, dog. Sorry, you guys. There's so much to that story that you're probably going, "What in what the are world they are they talking doing? about?" Which leads us into what we want to share. That's exactly. That's why we were talking about the, about the Monday motivation because we wanted to share with you guys. That yes, exactly. Just that about not being invited to the party. To the party. No, it's usually a good thing. Okay. Okay. Is this it right here? Yeah, it's posted. Oh, there we go. Yes. You want to start? No, you please. Okay. <laughs> okay, listen up. Yes. Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how you see yourself, mm -hmm. how you talk to yourself, mm -hmm. how you handle your defeats is more important than how others see you or what they think of you. It's mm -hmm. a lesson I keep learning the hard way. The more you look on the outside for validation, the less you achieve the less you accomplish and the less you do because of what others think of you. Mm -hmm. Their words and their judgments can truly paralyze you. I love that because what that says mm -hmm. is if you think about what others might be thinking of you, you can't help but freeze. Right. Because you're thinking, you're crippled. how do I act? How do I, yes. how do I pivot? What is she thinking of me across the room? What is he thinking of me? When at the end of the day, their judgments already made of you and it doesn't even matter. And I just, I, you have to remember mm -hmm. your action, your walk is not someone else's. I like what you said right there. Mm -hmm. I said their, I, their thought of you or idea of you, they already have an idea of you. Mm -hmm. You, however you're going to behave right then, is not going to change their opinion of you at that right. moment. Yes, it's already, it's already figured out. Correct. It's funny because years ago Tim said that to me and um, I'll never forget. <laughs> it. I, I think I was just debating over a friendship. Mm -hmm. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I was just, you know, how do I, how do I? And he goes, you don't. Right. And I, I was like, oh, I, I don't. It's like saying no to the party that you know is not good to go to. It's like saying no to something that is absolutely not going to, to grow you or to help you. It's to appease someone else. And oftentimes it's when you lay down the law of what you want for your life. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes those things just don't <clears throat> fit in. And one of those things that doesn't fit in on the grid, off the grid, the proverbial meaning of what we have for, for our brand is fitting in is not what you want anyway. Right. You don't, it, the other people's opinions don't matter. They just don't. It's, it's like, <clears throat> I mean, honestly, everybody's got one. Yes. They already have it of you. It's not going to happen or change in the moment. Um, but I love that. But I love even like yeah. just kind of discussing about the situation this weekend mm -hmm. and <clears throat> not being invited. Right. And just like I, when I mentioned that to you and you said, but, but would that have brought you joy? Like where, I mean, how are you accepting the fact that you weren't invited? What, what was it about that that you wanted to do or wanted mm -hmm. to go? I'm like, well, let me think about that. And as soon as I started to really digest that, mm -hmm. I realized not going was actually the grief. Yes. It was the blessing. It was a blessing. It was freeing. But all we can think about sometimes <laughs> is like, but why not me? Or why, why me? Well, I think that's the, that's the, that's the hardest thing. That's yes. been the hardest thing, mm -hmm. I think, for me. I'm like, I think I'm a fun person. Yeah. 
I think I'm really nice. But it has nothing to do with that. No. You're the whole package. It is, that's not serving you. Well, so sometimes it's either, for me, it's like, okay, God made that really, really clear. Right. Because it wasn't good for me. And I'm trying to be on this path. Mm -hmm. And all these things outside, all these opinions of others or what I, you know, I saw, I sometimes struggle with this and being, I guess, more of a people pleaser of, okay, I can do this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and at the end of the day, this, 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 and this, and this is not growing me, right. helping me, not, not in a selfish way, but in the sense that I, you give so much or you do so much for <clears throat> others because you think that's what you're supposed to do. Right. And you forget to take care of the most important thing. Right. And then here's, here's a fact. You want to read that part? <clears throat> Oh, no, you please. You want me to? Yes. Okay. You guys, Here's a fact good. that's never going to change. There will always be someone who doesn't believe in you. There will always be someone who judges you. This one, now this right here, this meat and potatoes, it was mm -hmm. really hard for me to chew and digest. Yes. So when we were, we were writing this and thinking about this and reading it, it mm -hmm. was just like, wow. Mm -hmm. I, it's, you, when you come face to face with, oh, okay, so I'm not going to be liked by everybody. And mm -hmm. I think that's where like, you're oh, that hurts. It's yes. hard. It's very hard. And it's really hard to teach that to our kids too. And if we don't go through it, we sure can't show that. I know. Um, okay. There will always be someone who judges you. There will always be someone who doesn't think you're good enough for what you're doing, for whatever you're doing. There will always be someone who doesn't think you are worthy of their time and attention. Mm -hmm. And there will always be someone who criticizes everything you do, which I have a little story on that. These people exist in our lives. And I want you to really think about this part. These people mm -hmm. exist in our lives and they can be in our family or mm -hmm. in our friends in our friend circle, in our work circle, and you can never run away from them. But the good news is you don't have to. So the part that is powerful to me <clears throat> is recognizing that we all have it. We all deal with it in some form or some capacity, mm -hmm. but that you don't have to do what you're currently doing. Meaning if it hurts you mm -hmm. and it doesn't serve you, maybe the answer is closing the door on certain things, right. which is, which is really hard. Um, but what else? Let's see. Oh, sorry. Did you yeah, go up? Uh, there was one thing I wanted to say. The <clears throat> people don't think that you're worthy of their time and attention. And there's always someone that's going to be criticizing everything you do. This for me is really hard because I found, I have found myself at, self at certain points in my life mm -hmm. where it's like, I'm going to do these things because then they're going to like me right. or then, then they're going to see my, that I'm a good person. And if I do this, this, and this, even though the whole time I'm doing everything I can, but in this particular person that they're not seeing me for me. They're not seeing how good I am. And at the end of the day, there's just some people that aren't going to like you. Yeah. You can't fix it. And why work to make someone's opinion change of you? Why? Spend that time working on you. And then you're going to attract the things and the people that are supposed to be in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's hard. <clears throat> it's yes. It's very difficult. I have to tell you, I mean, that's kind of been one of the difficult things this past six months those doors closing, but noticing all the people that are actually, I've, because that door is closed, mm -hmm. how many people are now in my life? Yes. That it has completely changed. Mm -hmm. Not completely, but I'm actually, and the thing is they may have always been there, mm -hmm. but I was had such a closed door, yeah. that was closed off and not open to those things that now it's like, oh my gosh, wow. Mm -hmm. And then it's a completely, like a breath of fresh air mm -hmm. of their perspective, their angle, how they, what they bring to the table. It's mm -hmm. just like, you mean this has been here the whole time? The whole time. You know, we were talking in our warrior coaching program <clears throat> that we do on Mondays. If you want information, send us a message. And we were talking about this concept of just think about this. If you close your eyes for a second and really visualize yourself inside of a room. And inside that room, there's a door and there's a window. Mm -hmm. And the door is what you're dealing with right now. Maybe you're going through that struggle. You're not understanding why. And you have this mindset of why me? Why is this happening to me? And when, like you said... When you close that door, what mm. happens? When you close a door, then you'll look out the window. But when there's two options, you're going, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> okay, this is okay. Oh, no, no, no. And then you turn to go to the door when that's not made for you and that's not meant for you and your back is to the window. Yeah. All you see is out that door. And all you see is what that door offers and the path that that's going to lead you down. But when you close that door that you know is not supposed to be there for you mm -hmm. and you look out the window, all of a sudden you're able to not be distracted. You're able to see what goodness is right there in front of you. And once you take that step or climb out that window, if mm -hmm. you want to visualize yourself, then you're able to see the field. You're able to still see those opportunities because you're not thinking about that door anymore when you close it. Well, and that's hard just trying to close the door. It I is. mean, that's, that's like a conscious decision to mm -hmm. say, this does not serve, serve me. me. Mm -hmm. But it is amazing 
in, for my perspective, mm -hmm. in my example, where this door has literally just been shut, deadlocked, <coughs> dead bolted, mm -hmm. covered. No option. There is no door anymore. Mm -hmm. so I always like, I tell my kids. Oh my God. Yes. Like God really just like, not only Bam. closed it, like made it like a total wall. Like you can't even go through the door anymore. And aren't you proud of yourself when that happens? Like I, when you, no he, seriously. He, when you, I needed him to really close yeah. that door. But when you look at it and you say, okay, that's always what you say. Okay, I've got it. That's shelved or that's closed or yeah. that's, I'm going to focus on this. Yes. I mean, and even with your kids, if you teach them, and I talk with Hayden a lot, Taylor and Ty about this, Hayden and Taylor specifically right now, but when you take something off the table, you're not distracted by it. So something mm -hmm. as simple as we went through basketball season and they weren't, well, a couple of them, or Taylor loved it, but the boys were like, meh, I'm not sure about basketball. And it was like, okay, well, I don't want to go back. It's not my sport. I said, no. I said, we made a commitment. Oh. You know, we're going to finish this out. And then the flip side of that, it's when you take quitting off the table, you're not distracted by the option. So, sure. you know, you start a new adventure. Maybe you're starting a new business or you um, <clears throat> start a new diet. And you're like, you know what? I'm committed to this. The doctor said I need to take care of my heart. Here's my new diet. And then day four and five rolls around. And you're like, well, it's okay if I do this or this or this. And it leads you down this path. If you just take it off the table or in the or in the sense of don't go to the grocery store and buy those things, right. or you know, you start, start start something new and you're like, you know what, no matter how much this hurts or sucks or doesn't does it feel good, you know, the suck factor, Yes. quitting is off the table. So it's not even an option. And when you literally just create those boundaries, mm -hmm. it's so much easier than saying, mm, am I gonna work out today? Well, mm. <clears throat> those boundaries, it's perfect yeah. because uh, just like with children, mm -hmm. they need boundaries, they yep. need rules because then that's where you f actually feel protected. Yeah. You know that this is the boundary. You can't go any further than this. So it's like, oh, good. Okay, so now that I know this is this is on this side, and I have my left and right ready to go, I can bounce back and forth. But I know what my yes. what my limits are. That's hard. That's very hard. Very hard. I love. Oh, oh yeah. This is the best part too. Extremely hard, especially when you are the pastor of a church. How could this person not like me? I'm good. I'm loving. And it's, I'm. It's very devastating. Peggy, I completely hear you. Hear you. Mm -hmm. Completely hear you. And Tamara, all of this. You know what? On that, Peggy, <clears throat> think about if you if you gave your energy not to the one person that's not seeing you for how amazing you are, mm -hmm. and you put all your energy on the people that are and the relationships that are good, that's going to minimize the effect that has on you, and it's going to make you have even better relationships with the people that do love you for you, that mm -hmm. you're not proving yourself to. When you have to prove yourself to somebody, you really have to ask yourself if it's worth it. Um, I love that because it's true. Mm -hmm. That's that's absolutely true. Like I was thinking about like, but I think I'm fun. I think I'm nice. I think I'm kind. I'm forgiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, this person has completely done the worst thing to me ever. Mm -hmm. And I'm still like, hey, do you want to be my friend? Mm -hmm. And they still say no. And so mm -hmm. that's it's hard. Because it's like, but because but, it's not your people. Mm -hmm. It's not your people. I love that though. Yes. That's, that's so comforting. It is know. comforting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's another fact. At the end of the spectrum... There will always be people who do believe in you, who do encourage you to go for your dreams, to take on more challenges and to step outside of your comfort zone. There will be people who see you as more than enough and overqualified. You're not proving yourself, you're actually overqualified. I love that. There will be people who brag about you and who are proud of you and who feel lucky that you're in their life and they get to know you. Like a pendulum, you'll always swing between these two ends on which which way or which, which, which which is why you should never really get attached to any of them because how you see yourself will always be more important than how others see you. I made me cry. I know. Well, I was about to. I tried to keep it together. I was like, Mandy, don't do this. Don't do it. Don't, don't do pull it on tears. Our Monday motivation. That. They're supposed to be happy. But mm -hmm. that, I love that pendulum swing though that mm -hmm. you just mentioned. Yes, there is all of that negative, but then on the other side of that, there's so many people that are cheering you on. Mm -hmm. And focus on that one that is. Gosh, and I if know. you don't have that, that's what this community is about. Mm -hmm. And we have our free uh, private Facebook group, yes. Girls Off the Grid, if you're looking for somebody to cheer for you. And it's funny because, I I mean, in my life, I found that the relationships I have to prove myself to are never mm -hmm. worth it because they would have seen it from the beginning. Uh, those that are there for you unconditionally, that just love you for you, see the good in you, people that sit by you and say, okay, I heard you say this but you're missing this because you are amazing. The people that um, make you feel good, make you feel alive, make you feel like you can conquer things, those are the people to keep in your life. And it's hard to find that. It's not an everyday thing. And you know, you think friendship is like, how many friends do I have? Really, it's not. 
It's how many, one or two mm -hmm. amazing people do I have in my life that are doing life with me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about quantity, it's about that quality. True, and I think we're just, we're talking about like the five people, like mm -hmm. it, the five people that you talk and speak with the most, it's like you are an average of the five people that you talk to. Yes, and powerful. If, yes. Oh think my about gosh. that one. Like what is it that I desire? Do I desire something in them or am I motivated by them? Do I like, right. what is it that's influencing my time spent with them? Yes. What's the conversation like? Mm -hmm. Are you guys picking each other up? Is it positive? Is it loving and supportive? Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what is it? And that's another thing too. I think what I did was try to like remove certain things mm -hmm. from my life that really kind of changed my perspective or changed mm -hmm. how I would respond and react. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of things that, that make me unhappy. Like sometimes like looking at Instagram mm -hmm. and the highlight reel and everything mm -hmm. is so perfect. I'm like, Oh gosh, that makes me feel, mm -hmm. does not make me feel good. So right. I just remove, remove it, remove it from my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not really looking at it or fill it. It's yeah. kind of like, you know, when you talk about, um, when you take something away for 40 days versus yeah. adding something in, yes. like you've done before, yes. you know, it's maybe it's, maybe you're still going to be on social media, but add in the positive or make that positive first. Mm -hmm. You know, it's. It's I love that. Well, and that's what I did like for Lent mm -hmm. one year was call my mom every day. I know that sounds silly, maybe to some, but calling my mom every day for 40 days. And it wasn't that it was a, like it was difficult calling my mother because of course she's my mother. I love mm -hmm. her. Of course I want to talk to her. But it is one of those things like I had made a conscious decision mm -hmm. knowing that I knew that it brought her joy too. Yes. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this for my mom for 40 days. Yeah. So when I kind of sw switched that around and I started adding it to my life, I'm like, wait a minute, I had so much value of talking with her mm -hmm. and just think those times, those precious moments that I can't, I can't definitely can't get back, but there's so many people out there that don't have that opportunity mm -hmm. too. So it's like, I really want to embrace that. What, what is that? Absolutely. Yeah. So I love your idea of adding something too. I love it. Mm -hmm. Cause I think taking away th things can seem a little overwhelming. Cause it's like, how do I actually remove that? Right. When maybe it's just a tweak, maybe it's, you know, this doesn't make me feel good, but what would reading yeah. something good or being involved in a group that, is inspiring and I read it and I, and I take action. Like what is something you can do? Yes, well, and especially with the group. I think we've shared this over here, over into our Girls Off The Grid. If you are not part of our private Facebook community, just go to, it's called Girls Off The Grid. We will add you girls. It's so exciting over there because of all the positivity. And like on the way to school, mm -hmm. I have Sophie read I love our this. morning posts and on Brandy the way there. did that the other day. Did she? She did to her. She had two teenagers in the car and she read our posts. <gasps> You're kidding. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I love, I love that. Man, I mean, see how like reading something, Good I morning. mean, if you just envision that and you're driving on the road and you're listening to music and maybe you're not thinking about much versus listening to something really positive mm -hmm. and then your next steps are going to be positive. You can't, it's just this trickle effect. It's like doing something kind for someone yes. and then you'll feel a little bit love. You'll feel love for doing that and they're going to be motivated and they're going to go do it and it just, it creates it, but you have to make it intentional. Mm -hmm. It has it's to a choice. be a choice. Yeah. yeah. But that's what, it, that's the exciting part about it. Yeah. Is that it you is. put the power back in you. It is a choice. Mm -hmm. It's a choice to choose good. It's a choice to say something positive and nice. It's a choice to say something negative. Mm -hmm. Even in saying positive, even when you don't feel like it. Yeah. I mean, waking up and just, you know, so simple story, my sciatic has been killing me. It's always hurt me for years, but now it's like 24 seven, it hurts me. And yesterday I was thinking about it and it brought me, kind of brought me to tears because the pain can be so, but like sitting here right now, I just, I wanna get up so bad. Speaking of, real quick, I know, I know, but I did see a chair and I was gonna buy it oh, yesterday no, and I was gonna no. bring it here. No. And I she thought, hates my, my work chair, it's terrible. It's I don't ter even know where that's going I don't, <laughs> I do. Every time I sit there, it's just like, the chair is not a good choice, Jay. It's a terrible I choice. I need a bouncy ball or something. I know, well, I, I'm just gonna bring it's, it and I thought, she's not gonna like this chair, but it, I mean, it was like, so that was, I mean, it was moving see, I and it swirled that. around. It's killing me. And I'm like, this was perfect. Oh, but I, oh, sorry. so I'm thinking we'll to myself, first. what can I do to make this better? And one of the things is I'm going to a doctor that Mandy suggested, so I'm going to be going there. However, what are things I can do that I really hate that I keep being told will help me be better? So I, I'm so proud of you. I can't some yoga stand moves, it. I can I am so stinking proud I, of you. And I hate it. Hate it, hate it. So, so it's not her personality. No, her personality is go, 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 like quick sprints, like just get it done. Get it done. And yoga, a lot, it's just, it's the opposite. And I you gotta have take, to tell you, gotta you take within. Much. You gotta I, breathe. Mm, hate it. You gotta stretch it out, girl. Deep breath. Deep hate breath. It. Deep breath. Oh. So I went last week, so that was a win. So then I'm watching one of my girlfriends, shout out to Jenna. Um, and then my good friend Jess, she was here yesterday. She was showing me one on the ground. She was picking up some stuff for a project. And I was like, 
looking at her do it and I'm going, and I ever gonna get on the ground? And then I got on the ground and I did it that night. I'm Cause so I was like, okay, it. listen, Jay, if you just do it, take mm -hmm. 10 minutes, mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna help. And it, I'm telling you, it helps me, but I'm only telling you this because oftentimes during the suck, if you do the things you know you need to do mm -hmm. and you don't give yourself the opportunity to have the excuse, which I have plenty of, I just made that decision. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it every night before I go to bed. And I'm not taking it off the table. I I'm, will do it. I will hold that pose. I'm so I will proud of you. Be miserable all ten minutes. Yes, but I'm gonna do it. I'm because I'm gonna grow from that. Yes, I'm committing to it. You, I just and she's gonna it. check on me, and I'm. I am gonna check on you. To <laughs> hate yoga. But I saw you. Well, it's funny. So I would always really strongly encourage Jordan to go to yoga, and I would go with me in the class for years. Years. <laughs> and I would say, hey, Jay, come in here. Why don't you go to that yoga? And she's like, okay. So she's in there. And you know, like whenever you're trying to breathing, stretching through, and then she's like doing it fast. I'm like, no, 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 no. We, we, we slow down. You were, I mean, you were in there maybe 10 minutes. She's like, okay, I think I got my workout. I, I left early. You did. Oh, I always leave early because I'm like, okay, I can land this for 10 minutes, 12 minutes a day. God dang it. This is terrible. I, it's just, I know. I know. I mean, there's I'm so wasting my time. <laughs> That's all I can do. I know. My brain goes crazy in there. And I'm right. I know where my child gets it, y'all. I know. That's the whole point is to is to really slow her down, rest, relax, mm -hmm. and breathe through the stretch. Too late. So you haven't changed any from high school. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is <laughs> So what you're saying is you're not changing. <laughs> I'm working on it and there's proof in our stories on Instagram. Well, there is. You just go watch that video. I'm holding my pose. <laughs> I saw that. I thought, wow. I it's, I'm impressed. And it helps because it takes the pressure off of the nerve. Yes, it does. And then you hold your legs to build the core a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it was, it truly does help. It's just a matter of making myself do that. Right. Just really relaxing, letting mm -hmm. yourself, your brain slow down just enough for mm -hmm. you to just, just to relax. Yes, I can do it. I'm proud of you. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Tamara, I am so proud of you for loving yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so last thing I want to tell you. There will always be battles you can't win. And sometimes these people may, may be right about you. But if you spend your life trying to prove everyone wrong, you're never truly going to live. What matters is you. It's not what anyone thinks of you. It's not what anybody thinks of your life. It's not what you think someone else might be thinking of you. I mean, think about if you took that effort and you just worked on you. You know, mm -hmm. instead of trying to change for someone else, for what result? And, you know, just like we said at the beginning. Yes. If... You're not invited to the party or you're not whatever. Think about would you actually have wanted to be? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, just, let me answer that Let me answer, answer for answer you. For you no. no. Cause think about the decisions you have to then make because you did something you didn't want to do. Right. You know, it's it's yeah. Take care of you. Everything starts with you. A good life starts with you. Mm -hmm. uh, the next step starts with you. It's a choice. It's a decision. It's you have two options every day. Mm -hmm. To get up and thrive or not, you know, to eat healthy or not, to right. work out or not, to make a decision to put one foot in front of the other, even when it's uncomfortable, the decision to look in the mirror and say, I'm strong, even when I don't feel like it. I'm powerful. I'm beautiful. And guess what? When you say it, read it, hear it, mm -hmm. you internalize it. So when you say negative things, you internalize it. When you talk, when you gossip, when you do things that are not serving you or anyone around you, it influences everything about your day. It influences your children. It influences it your does. friendships. It's a trickle effect. So when you're not feeling strong, because right now I'm not feeling strong. I'm hurting so bad. Right now? Yes. In my leg. Mm -hmm. Like this. I'm, I'm not so feeling strong right here. <laughs> <laughs> feeling strong up here. I know, hey, but do you, I'm not, do you need to, to see how I'm pulling it? I know. Do you need to cross your legs the other way? Oh, oh, oh. Do you need to? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my yoga move here in a minute. Um, but when you're not feeling strong, say it. I'm strong, I'm powerful, I can do hard things. And, you, and the more you say it, the more you believe it. The more you believe it, write it down, the more you believe it. It was, we talked about it in our uh, private uh, training, talking mm -hmm. about I was having these thoughts in my head over and over and over, and I literally had to pull back the curtain and look in the mirror and say, Mandy, say these things over and over again. And mm -hmm. it took me like seven times going through this list of positivity, mm -hmm. and then it clicked. I'm like, oh, wait, I, right. What? Oh. And I had to retrain my retrain. own self. Mm -hmm. Your brain is, it can be trained. It's, it's, it's just like your muscle. You mm -hmm. train it and it does and believes what you offer it. Yes. What you feed it, what you show it, what you look at. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the reasons we created Off the Grid, mm -hmm. which I want to show you this. So in every order, anytime someone orders from us, you get this card. 
It was actually one of the first things we designed. It is because everything starts with how you look in the mirror and talk to yourself. You are strong, you are powerful, you are confident, and you are capable. And we put these in our house. Mandy has it on our table. I have mm -hmm. it in my bathroom, by the desk. And it has on the back side a little bit about us. So I will tell you what we say on the back, and then you'll understand our logo too. So we're two friends, one vision. Off the grid, living is a life you create. You choose to live bigger, more bold, and brave. We are a mission-based lifestyle brand focused on healing and empowering humans, building confidence, and bringing awareness to our passionate issues. So off the grid is more than a piece of clothing. Mm -hmm. It is a mindset. It is, um, a, it's an outward expression of the growth you're trying to feel from mm -hmm. the in, inside out. Um, so one of our lines is our logo line, you see OTG. It's that reminder, we have a lot of things with our kids. Our kids line has a lot of logo because it's that subtle reminder. It doesn't say something, but when you look in the mirror, you know, I'm choosing to thrive. Today I am strong, I am powerful. Mm -hmm. Our second line is, I didn't bring it in here, um, is words written backwards on the chest. So when you look in the mirror, the reflection says warrior. It says mm -hmm. strong, it says beautiful. It's a reminder that brave. I am, mm -hmm. you know, I am those things. And then our third line, which is one of our favorites. Oh, our empower line. And that has our statements on it. Even like what they're saying, I'm, I'm fierce, I'm bold, I'm powerful, and unapologetically us. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's another thing, also giving the other person the permission to also recite the same words and for mm -hmm. them to feel empowered too. Yes. So it's not only for yourself, but also for others. So I think purpose. that's what's so, very much so. I think that's what we're, if anything, that we try to share is that life's not perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, our lives, Yes, we, you'll, a lot of people say, but we see you laughing all the time. It's like, because we're laughing through it. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, there are so many things in life that just kind of just happen. And it really is about our response and how, are we, how we react mm -hmm. to them that's going to ultimately design our day and for our children too. So when our kids see us, mm -hmm. I think that's the other thing too, that people have a misconception about, like even like with arguments. Mm -hmm. Conflict resolution, like children, you may argue with another person in front of a child, but then people are like, but I don't want them to see us arguing, or I don't want to see it. Like actually, if you work through it, it shows them positivity. It shows mm -hmm. them positive ways to discuss things mm -hmm. and realize that an argument just isn't because of, of a yes and no, it's two people coming together, mm -hmm. discussing it, mm -hmm. and having conflict resolution. So there's a health in mm -hmm. even situations like that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You are, I mean, we're mirroring, they're gonna mirror our behaviors and our reactions mm -hmm. and so and we're just rolling that's why them. clothing and what you put we we laugh about it but like what's in your closet mm -hmm. what is it you put on because you're going to say things you're going to write things you're going to do things you're going to take the selfie with your kids and what a great conversation piece so we have a full kids line too that when they put it on or you give it to them you can say hey tay hey so if this is written backwards because mm -hmm. it's for you when you look in that zoom or you look in that mirror and so it's the intention of your words and your choices, mm -hmm. but also what is it that you clothe yourself with? Are you proud of yourself? You know, it's, it's a simple, simple tweaks in life mm -hmm. that can ultimately give you such a better tomorrow. Um, putting the positive things, picking up the positive. It's like picking flowers, just pick the positive ones. I love that. And keep going and keep going and show up tomorrow. I mean, sometimes you'll get a, a, a rotten We're apple. We're a little weed. <laughs> We're a little weed every now and then. A little bad apple over there. I mean, seriously. If you didn't see our live last week. We, Got some bad apples on our live. Whoa. <laughs> there was, was one really good there one, was, though. There was one. Maybe. There was one. One. One, one really good one. <laughs> some, and it was decent. I know. Because right now it's not apple season. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well, we hope you have a wonderful Monday. If you're not in our Facebook group, it's called Girls Off the Grid on Facebook, mm -hmm. like I said. Anyone is welcome. We have our Instagram, which is at the OTG Life. And we'd love to see you there. What else we want to tell them? Our website, mm -hmm. www.otgwarrior.com. And you'll see all of our gear. We mm -hmm. have uh, some of our shirts, I think, or tanks that are coming in. Yep, so, so we have new tanks next week. Pre-order, so all of our, I mean, I love our hats. New gear, yes. Like the girls, all the little soccer girls wearing these. I mean, these just so anything you can do to create great conversation with your children and with your friends, it with your parents. I mean, it's crazy how just reading it and saying it, mm -hmm. re reading it, and you don't even have to say it sometimes. It's I just, know. it's a statement. You know, you wear our top, the, the top that says, um, unapologetic on the back or the yes. top that talks about I'm bold, strong, powerful, or I am strong, powerful, beautiful, confident, capable. You read that and someone else knows that you're coming into the room wanting those things for your life. So you're leveling up. They may want to follow. I you know. know. So.
Always. I know. I love it. Okay, girls. Well, happy Monday. We, we love you guys. We love you, Chandra. I'm so <laughs> oh, glad you guys are you. here. Tamara. We have a story about that. Tamara, we can't wait to hear it. Cannot wait we to hear it. We love stories. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it, Miss Peggy. I am on it. I love it. <laughs> I love That's it. what best friends are for, right? That's right. right She's going to kick my tail. She does. We do that to each other, though. We it's do. Great. Well, and I mean, as soon as, because I'm, you know, a lot of times I'm feeling total down in the dumps, and Jordan's like, are you serious right now, girl? <laughs> Get over. Tell me the story. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> exactly. Get over yourself. <laughs> I promise you, they weren't thinking about you. Okay? They weren't. And I'm like, but, but. No, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. <laughs> you weren't invited, okay? Move on. Thank God. You just leveled up. You saved yourself. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Anyway, we love you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. This truly is one of our favorite, favorite, favorite days. Just because, I mean, it's Monday and the best time to get everything done. We like to front load. But most importantly, because we are able to come live and share yes. just a little bit about our weekend yeah. and just share life with you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. See you next week. See you later. <laughs>